Hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk about immigration and all you can do to boost immigration. First, you should know that there is internal immigration and external immigration. Internal is not only your country, but your market. In this example, we are playing as Mexico, but we are in the Mexican market. But if you are, for example, part of a custom union with France, well, all the French territories and colonies and the French empire is going to be one whole market and it's considered internal immigration. It's not about a nation, it's about market. And the external immigration is different when there is turmoil or, I mean, a war somewhere and you have cultural acceptance and religious acceptance with them, you have big chances if you have high migration attraction in one of your provinces like California, that those people will come to California and you will receive an event here in the top of the screen. If you click any of your provinces and you click in the last tab, you will find two values here of interest. One is called migration attraction and the other one is called migration attraction for unincorporated state, that is your colonies. And both have different rules. If, the, if you are talking about unincorporated states, the law that matters is the migration law that you have in the colonies. Some of those laws, like border colonization, will boost your migration attraction in unincorporated states and the rest of the laws will work about your incorporated state that is your core nation. Besides migration attraction, there is an important value, turmoil. And people hate turmoil. So if you have turmoil in any of your provinces, people will not only not come there, will emigrate and go to another province or somewhere else in the world. And now let's go to an example. If you click down here, here you have a nice map that is called migration we are going to use this map migration and if you mouse over any of your provinces you have important text here and we are going to paste paste this on a clipboard and we are going to read this the somaliland migration attraction of 48.6 is due to standard of living plus 18.5 Unused arable land, plus 5.4. Available employment, plus 2.4. Plus 25.00% from great power. Plus 50.00% from... Okay, here is all the information you need to know. You need to have high migration attack, attraction, and if you are in a market, you should make sure, because it will work both ways, if you join a market like the English one, that they are very rich and you have a lot of people, instead of getting immigrants, you may lose people. So only join a market if you are 100% sure that you can have a higher standard of living and a higher migration attraction. And the factors are standard of living, super important, unarable lands, you can do anything about this. Some territories like California, they have a lot of unarable lands. Also, you have it's important if you are a superpower, plus 25, but there are some super good factors that you can influence. This is the intellectual faction, and this is uh, an industry, a company that you should incorporate. If you take a look at the intellectual faction if you mouse over you will find here that it says plus 50 migration attraction this is because they are powerful they are plus 20 percent if you have less than 20 percent they will be just 25 percent migration attraction but is still the best bonus in game so you should boost the migration by having channels approving loose uh, loss that benefit them or you can raise their salaries all you can do to make them loyal there is a guide on this channel. If you find the playlist, you will find information on how to make them loyal. And the other one is the company that is on the journals, the companies, companies. Here are the companies. And here it is. The oil company will give you plus 10% migration attraction. And the requirement for this is you have five oil buildings on the same place so it's not that hard to get this one later in the game 
Now let's talk a little bit about the laws. You have one law, migration control. Of course, if you have no immigrants, close border, this is very bad. Get rid of, the, of this as soon as you can. This one is as good as this one because usually this will allow anyone to come into your provinces from the market. But the problem is that usually people that is discriminated will not come to your country. So this works almost the same. But of course, open borders is better because they may attract people from provinces that are not accepted. But if you have public school, they will end up being accepted. Also, this work with cultural acceptance and the, private, the religious schools work with religious, religious acceptance. And if you check in your population tab somewhere, you will see that your migration law and your religions law. This is very important because if you have for example, this one, this law, that is super religious country, and you are Catholic, only Catholic people will come to your country. On the other hand, if you have this, it's kind of having multiculturalism, but on a religious level. And in the, this is the multiculturalism, is of course the best one, because it allows people from almost anywhere to come to your country. But if you have any of these laws will start restricting more and more and more people that is going to be able to come to your country or would like to join you. So a single simple tips, if you lower your taxes you are going to raise your standard of living, if you increase the administration taxes you are going to increase the, and the power of the intelligentsia group and the intelligentsia group will boost that nice bonus that gives you a plus 50 percent and well try to decrease star mall as soon as possible anywhere everywhere and all the rest have been talked in this video hope you find this information useful and if you have tips related to this to help the community please write them down if you try to if you want to support the channel please leave a like it helps me a lot and thanks for watching if you have any question i will be more than uh, happy to help and that's all see you in the next one bye bye